over here. Where is he taking me? <laughs> oh crap! <laughs> Holy crap! Holy crap! He's taking me all the way down here, guys. What's happening, guys? Welcome to another episode of Insane Catfishing. Today we switching it up, baby. That's right. We're doing some carp fishing. Right here. This place right here, this beautiful place right here on the Potomac River. I like to call this Carp Haven. Now listen, guys, I'm telling you, there's tons and tons of carp here. So we're gonna get set up. We're gonna get some bait out in the water and let's catch tons of carp, baby. Let's do it. So today we have a few options as bait. So of course we're gonna use the pack bait. We're gonna put that around this method feeder here. We're gonna pack that bait in there. And as you can see, I still have some old bait on this one right here. This is some old tiger nuts. So these are tiger nuts right here. Strawberry banana tiger nuts. The carp absolutely love them. Also, we have some homemade boilies from my guy Channel Chad. We're amped up outdoors. The man, the myth, the legend, the carp slayer. Also, we have these other boilies, the jiggers. Oh, they smell really good. They, so, they almost smell good enough to eat. But yeah, we're gonna try these out as well. So we're gonna, we're gonna see what works and we're gonna get things started. Tiger nuts. Once the fish get a hold of your nuts, they'll never let them go. All right, look at them juicy tiger nuts, man. Oh man, those things look good enough to eat and they smell amazing. Fish freaking love them. So we go ahead and thread that through. Make sure I got a good camera angle for you guys. Thread that there. We're gonna put two on here since they're so small. Gonna thread that through, guys. Just like that. Oh, look at that. So much juice. Oh yeah. We're gonna get that on there, clip that down so it doesn't slip off. And we're gonna gently but firmly slide these nuts right on the line baby oh yeah open that back up release it then we're going to take our clip a little plastic piece we're going to slide that into the loop so these things are so tiny it's hard to handle slide that up in there like like that there come on voila all right there we go now we push the nuts up and we push this little plastic piece up and that locks it in and i like to slide this ring up there so it can stay right there on the hook just like that guys just like that now next we're gonna try the boilies. We're gonna do the boilies the same exact way. We'll get one of these darker colored ones. The black of the berry, the sweet of the juice, my dude. How about we dip some of that, some of that tiger nuts? Oh yeah, maybe they like some of that tiger nut juice. Huh? Oh yeah. Might be a good idea. We're gonna do the boilie the same exact way. Slide it down gently but firmly. Get that in the loop. And bow. All right. Here goes the moment of truth, baby. We get our pack bait. Now this this pack bait here is oatmeal, uh, oatmeal bread crumbs, cream corn, uh, sweet corn, strawberry jello mix, and also banana cream mix. Mix all it together with a little bit of vanilla extract, and you got you a missile, guys. Something that's never going to miss. Now let's, let's let's get this over here. We don't want to waste any because we don't have much. This is from a last trip, so we figured we'd come out and use it. So we're gonna do our pack bait over the bag. So we keep every crumb. 
Usually people do this in buckets. That's how they save it without making a mess. So make sure you guys can see that. All right, bam. We're not even gonna do a big ball. So many out there, so many carp. We, 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 should, we wouldn't have to really bait them too heavy. So there we go. That's our first ball. We're gonna throw one kind of shallow and then we're gonna throw one kind of deep. That's the idea today. See where they at. So this one we're gonna throw shallow. We're gonna throw this one shallow. We're gonna throw this one shallow, guys. We have a little ball. That's pretty shallow right there. Let's see if you can see the ripples over there. That one's right there. All right. We're going to loosen the drag on that bad boy. All right. Time for the boilies. This is a very important key fact that when you cast out your, uh, your little dough ball here with the method feeder, always stick your hook and your boilie or whatever you're using into the dough ball so when you cast it it doesn't get tangled around and you be sitting there wondering why you're not getting a bite because your line your freaking hook is tangled everywhere all right we're going to kind of send this one guys let's see we're going to send this bad boy all right let's get down here without falling in the water Let's see. Oh, that was a horrible sin, but it is what it is. Now we wait. That was quick. Whoa. Whoa. He's not happy. He's not happy. Oh, he's trying to take me to the log. No, buddy. Get back here. Oh. Get back over here. Where is he taking me? <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> Holy crap! Holy crap! He's taking me all the way down here, guys. Where is this guy going? <laughs> Bro, where is he taking me? He is taking me for a ride. <laughs> he is taking me for a ride, guys. This guy is not happy. Oh man, I'm gonna have to switch around this tree again. Uh 
Oh, okay. This guy's not happy at all. <laughs> Told you guys that wouldn't take long. <laughs> Told you guys that wouldn't take long at all. Oh, let's see if we can work them back into this cove over here. Oh, come on. Got him coming in. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how you doing? How are you? Pretty good. Yeah, these guys fight like crazy. He's been taking me around this tree for the last two minutes. Three, maybe. <laughs> I, I just got out of here. I just yeah. got out here. Literally just casted it out. Did you get him on this snowball that you made? Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, they're starting to spawn because so they're pretty active. Absolutely. Come on, buddy. All right. Keep nice. <laughs> oh, wet. Guys, there we go. The first one in the first five minutes. Not even five minutes, guys. As you can see, we had an encounter with um, Fish and Game Wildlife uh, Preservation. And um, so we're here on Fort Belvoir um, base, on Army base. And you need, a perm uh, our, you need a permit for this specific base. So we didn't have that. The guy was nice enough to allow me to go ahead and purchase one online. So that's what we did. Um, but guys, always make sure you have all your right license, all the right things you need permits etc guys just to keep things going smooth it also helps um, with the conservation of the fish and you know just it's just the right thing to do guys but let's get back to some fish oh 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 fish on <laughs> oh fish on <laughs> what's up <laughs> Oh, all right, well, I got a fish on, man. You know where I'm at. All right. All right. All right, we got another fish on, guys. Another good fish. Oh, okay. Look at go. Oh. oh, come on, buddy. Where are you taking me? <laughs> oh, where are you taking me, bro? Get back down here. Get back down here. Come on. Where are you at now? Come on, get in here. Not bad, guys. Not bad. 
<laughs> I tell you, he's not trying to come in. <laughs> oh, 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 look at that. <laughs> he's not happy. That's why I love these fish, man. They will give you a fight for your for their life, man. Let's get it. See if we can get them in here. <laughs> He's getting a little tired now. Come on. Come on in, buddy. I'm going to let you go. I promise. Back this way, buddy. All right, now we got him. We got him now. That is a decent sized cart right there, guys. Look at the colors on them. Look at the colors on the tail. Look at the bright. Look at the bright colors on that tail, guys. That is a beautiful fish right there. That is a beautiful fish. All right, guys. Look at this beautiful fish. Look at the colors on his tail, guys. Easily about almost 20 pounds, I would say. Almost 20 pounds, I would say, guys. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. All right, let's hold him tight so he don't flop and fall. All right, let's get him back into the water. I don't want to hurt you, buddy. Just want to get a release on you. All right. That was amazing. Okay, we on again. We on again, guys. <laughs> and we are on again, guys. <laughs> we are on again. <laughs> we are on again. Don't you cross my other line up. Oh, you trying to take me all the way out to the channel. Oh, no, don't cross the line. Did you get it? Oh, he's going. He's going this way. I don't think he's that big. Alright guys, another beautiful carp man. Listen, the colors on these fish are simply amazing this time of the year. You see the red in the tail? That is just absolutely beautiful. Beautiful carp. I would say a beautiful male. The male are all the males are always longer. They're more like torpedoes. Yep. And the women are usually thicker. Thicker than a snicker, baby. You know you like them chunky. Right. Oh. 
Okay. All right. Okay. I'm sorry. I didn't quite catch that. Could you please? Oh, oh, this might be a good one, guys. This might be a good one. Oh, yeah, he got some weight on him. He got a little weight on him. He definitely got a little weight on him. Oh, yeah. This one got a little weight on him, guys. This one has a little weight. Now we're talking, baby. I think I, I think I finally got the thumbnail I needed. Okay, okay. Okay. Come back over here. Oh yeah, he's decent. There we go. That's what I like to see. Okay. Come back over here in this cold for me. Okay. I see a decent tail under there. It's bright too. I see a nice looking tail. Oh, come on. Uh, he saw that net and said, not today. Come on, baby. It's a decent sized fish, guys. This is a decent fish. Now let's just hope the other rod doesn't go crazy right now. Oh, okay. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, sweet mama. Okay. Got a nice torpedo there. He's a long male. The male's always a lot longer. Come on, let's see if I can get you back in here. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on, bro. We're trying to get you in. You're not cooperating. But we don't want to get too tight on that drag, rip it out of his lips like we just did one of the other fish. We just pray the other rod doesn't go down at this moment. Yeah, let's get him in. Let's get him in. He's getting tired now. Come on. Come on. All right, got him. Got him. All right, I knew he was going to splash me up. All right, that is a decent cut right there, guys. Decent cut. Now look at that fish. Look at the beautiful colors on it. Definitely a beautiful fish right there. I'd say he's about 13, 14 pounds maybe. Definitely a good fish though. But this ain't what we want. We want a bigger one. But this is all we get. <laughs> nah, it's fake. <laughs> sure. This is a, a common carp. They're like big goldfish. Oh, that's so cool. Can I touch it? Sure. Oh.
<laughs> Ooh, they're slimy. <laughs> you just do this for fun? Yeah. Interesting. How long did it take your real head in? Uh, shoot, about six minutes. Okay. Yeah. Are you doing your, uh, like, a TikTok? Um, no, I'm not, not on TikTok. I'm just making YouTube content. Oh, you sorry. Good, okay. Yeah. Cool.